Welcome to the Highway 360. On my last video, I have covered the use of the Oracle Data Pump in external table to export and import the data back into the database. Right? Um, if you are using SQL Developer and if you do have DBA access, there's a much easier way to do the same task. Let me demonstrate to you. Now, before that, I'd like to create a new directory path called SQL Data Pump point to a new directory. Okay, let me show you. Okay, it's blank inside. Okay, let me run this statement. Now again, it does not create a physical directory for you. It's only telling Oracle uh, where the path is. Now uh, I would like to demo the perm table that we created in the last video. So let's check the number of rows we got. Seven eleven. Okay. Now to do that. In SQL Developer, you go to the view, select debate, and then select the schema, then select the folder data pump, then right click and select the export option. Because we want to uh, export the tables, uh, the data and DDL, so you can just leave that default tables and DDL in there. Press the next button. Press the lookup button and select the table that you want to export. Press the next button and next again. And we would like to use the uh, new directory path that we created. In this case, SQL Data Pump. You can leave the default log file there or you can change the file name. Next, and I'd like to use the directory path we just created again. And you can leave the name there by default or you can change it to whatever you like. Next, next, and then finish. Okay, it's now done. You can see that in the directory we have created the two file, the lot and the DMP, the dump file. And let's check and see the file in Oracle Propriety format. Okay. Now to import it back, um, I will recommend you to drop the table first. Uh, if you don't, and uh, nothing will happen. Uh, even though you truncate the table, uh, it won't import the data back for you. So let's drop the table. Okay. Now let's go back to the DBA tab. Select data pump again, and now we select the import option. Okay. We change the path back to SQL data pump. File name as default. That's fine. Okay, now we found the schema and object that we uh, extracted early on. So select that. Press next, next, and create the or select the log file directory path uh, to use SQL Data Pump. Press next, and next, and finish. Okay, now let's go back to here and do a refresh. Now the table is back. Let's run it here. Okay, you got seven eleven. Now just to demonstrate what happened if you uh, truncate the table. And run it. Okay, table truncated. Now it's blank. And Let's import the data again. Okay, same as before. Take a few seconds. Okay, same object. Change the path again. Okay, now see what happened. Nothing. See, um, you have to drop the table. If you don't, uh, it may not achieve the desirable result as you would like. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.